What is going on everybody, it's your boy Jess And today we are about to open up 12 of them secret packs, man 12 of them packs that you just may be overlooking Now all my OGs who play Madden, you already know this Because you're an OG But to all the newcomers who need just a little bit of push Maybe you can get lucky and it could really help your team out these packs can definitely benefit you so we're going to go on ahead and show you where you can locate these packs and you go to skills trainer pick any team you want we're going to go on ahead and uh i don't know if difficulty matters on this but just in case it does just you know have it on rookie and then you will notice that in the uh main menu of the skills trainer there's a whole bunch of objectives a whole bunch of training uh little mini games that you can do and when you complete those you will go on ahead and receive a pack for doing so now everything you get in there is nat but we have an all budget squad over here and if i mess around to pull a high gold or an elite card or something like that that can help me out a ton it's very beneficiary man you go on ahead you get free players and uh depending on what you get you can get lucky so you see all this right here is 100% complete. You go on ahead and you just click these. And it's going to... Um, and you need bronze. Just bronze at the minimum. Don't think you need to get gold or silver or anything like that. You can go all bronze and finish each and every single one of them. And uh, whenever you do start, at first they're going to give you a small little uh, like practice. So you can kind of learn how to do the objective they're telling you. You can just pause it, skip that, and get right into the drills. The drills is what you want to finish. And they actually do teach you a lot of things, man, if you're paying attention. They teach you, uh, you know, how to run a cover six, what beats what beats a cover six, and what you should look for against cover six, and what type of uh, what uh, area of the field you should try to attack and things like that. You know, they show a lot of cool stuff. But once you beat all of those, you get packs that can hopefully help you out. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our ultimate team. We just finished all 12 challenges. And it probably took me about an hour to finish all of that. So, you know, you take an hour of your time and you have an opportunity to go on ahead and win some packs. This is a trade because uh, I traded uh, the kicker to my, uh, to this account, my uh, budget squad, so I can do the, uh, the field goal challenge. And I traded it as, I traded his ass back to my main account so I get them coins back. So, again, these are all the packs we get. You get these perform packs right here, Gatorade Reward Pack. And, again, you can get lucky, man. Mess around and pull an elite, man. And uh, that's all I need. All I need is just a few good players. <laughs> so, we got two more packs in here that are from the Gauntlet. And I'm saving all of those to do a video once we go ahead and finish all that. But, nonetheless, 12 Gatorade packs. Again, everything is NAT. And this, like... I wouldn't do this on my main account, and I'm not going to, because there's no need to. No matter what I get, it's not going to help me. Even if I pulled a, a somebody monstrous, you know, because I have, you know, almost the top tier player at each and every single position, so it's not going to help me out too much. But here, on this account, you mess around and get lucky, man, and it could change a whole lot. So let's see what it is we're going to go on ahead and get. Just hoping to get somebody that can uh, be a starter, or even... If I'm not, I can still use these guys and put them uh, in sets. So if I ever need silvers for whatever reason, all these guys that are NAT, you can still use them for sets. You can use them for tokens. You can use these for, uh, you know, those uh, team captains or whatever the case may be to get you some extra cards. So right there, we didn't get too much of anything. Nothing that's going to help us out. Uh, too much anyways review all oh, and okay still nothing there that's gonna help us out now obviously you know luck may vary <laughs> i probably go this entire thing without pulling a gold card but i have seen uh screenshots of people pulling elites uh out of these so uh, i'm hoping to be one of those lucky people that can post a screenshot on twitter and we got ourselves a gold a gold cornerback we got two golds. All right. We got ourselves a gold right end. Let's go ahead and do a compare to who we have now to Addison. And Addison will definitely remain our starter. Addison is going to go on ahead and dominate in speed, acceleration, tackle, power move, finesse move, 
uh, play rec, and just pretty much everything except strength. But again, these guys can go into sets. Right here, we have a cornerback, and we have uh, elite cornerbacks everywhere, so I know he's not going to be uh, better than anybody there. All right, come on, baby. Let's get let's get lucky, man. I could really use a good pull. I could really, really, really use somebody. Give me a J.J. Watt one time. Okay, nobody. I thought these guys are like twins. So all these silver cards, I probably uh, will just put them in sets, see if there's anything that I can go ahead and make coins from. Because, I mean, I believe you get coins just for finishing sets. You know, or I just make quick sell them. Just get me some coins. It won't be much, but anything helps. <laughs> when you're unable to spend money, anything helps. We got ourselves a 71 overall right guard. Let's go ahead and do a comparison right here. And to the Castro, yeah, that, that's not much of uh, too much of anything there. And uh, we have uh, Winters who actually have to sell. Okay. Come on, baby. Let me get lucky. Let me get lucky one time. Let me get lucky one time for the culture. And we get in a oh! <laughs> oh my god! Not only did we just get lucky, we just pulled Anthony Barr! Oh my god! Oh my god, what a freaking pull, man! This right here is going to allow me to sell Bradham, get some coins, and keep the big six foot five 82 speed monster in anthony bar what's a freaking pull right there now you take a look and brad ham is extremely uh ferocious in his zone coverage but anthony bar is six foot five and also uh 82 speed brad ham is obviously the better card obviously but to go from a you know B plus to a B minus, I'll take that. I'll go on ahead. I'll sell Bradham. I'll start Bar, and that right there could potentially allow me to upgrade somewhere else. Great, great, great pull right there. Man, this just really lets me know how good Bradham is. Bradham has 84 zone coverage, dude. That is freaking insane. But still, we're definitely going the big lurkster. We're going Anthony Bar all the way. Oh man, what a freaking pull. You want to talk about coming in clutch. We needed something like that. Oh man, can I get one more or am I being too greedy? Am I being too greedy if I ask for one more elite? If I ask for one more elite, is that being too greedy? <laughs> oh man, so I got to see how much Bradham is going for. Oh, we got a punter. Okay, that's even perfect. I don't have a punter. I didn't waste any coins on a punter. And uh, if I happen to punt, we have one now. So let me go on ahead and promote him to starter. Now we have, uh, we actually pulled two starters, man. All right, two more. I'm so stoked over that Anthony Barr pull, man. I think I got uh, Brad here for like uh, 20 some odd K or like 15 or something like that. So um, that's going to give us at least 12 more K after uh, taxes and all that stuff. Yeah, Chaz isn't doing anything. All right, so very last pack right here. And we get, oh, we get a corner. I've seen it shaking up a little bit. So we didn't get any starters, but again, we did pull Anthony Barr, though. And that, again, even though Bradham is the better player, but you have to try and, you know, do things that are better for the team. You know, if I go on ahead and uh, sell Bradham, I can then use those coins to try and upgrade somewhere else. Maybe now I can get an offensive lineman. You know, um, or maybe I can go on ahead and get a very cheap uh, elite defensive tackle or something like that. Um, right now, I feel like my weakness is uh, defensive tackle. Linebackers, I feel like we're okay. And uh, we could definitely use some faster linemen. Because you guys know I love to, uh, to uh, pull and things like that. So I definitely could use some speed. Um... So first, let's see uh, how much Bradham is going for. Man, we pulled Anthony Barr, though. Man, that was so clutch. All right. Okay, I just was... Okay, we have to manually look to see how much Barr is going for. 
So Bradham is 40k. I, I forgot how much I spent on him. Did I spend this much on him? Maybe I did. I don't remember spending that much on him. But that's huge. Absolutely. Let me go on ahead and sell him. I can upgrade. If he sells for like 38k, then I can upgrade uh, a handful of positions. I can go on ahead and get myself two elite cards. Or uh, three elite cards, or however the, however the case may be. Uh, I'm curious to see how much Anthony Barr is going for. You want to talk about, like, uh, that? that's just perfect, you know? I, I felt bad midway through. I was like, damn, man. Like, in my head, as I'm doing the video, I'm thinking, ain't nobody going to do this, man. They're going to think this is stupid. I got nothing but silver cards. They're not going to want to waste their time. And then we got Anthony Barr. Oh, my goodness. Clutch. Okay, let's go elite. Actually, let's just go just so I don't have to deal with uh, those other people who are not Anthony Barr. And Anthony Barr is going for 20K. So we pulled the 20K card. Now, again, he's NAT. I can't do anything with him unless I add him to a set. But he is going to go on ahead and uh, allow me to sell Brad him. And all the other guys that I pulled, you know, I can put them in sets. You know, like I'll go on ahead and I'll go to Player Exchange. And maybe I got a bunch of NAT gold cards that I don't need. Maybe I can get myself an elite. Like right here, uh, 75 to 79 overall golds. Do I have anybody that's not in my starting lineup? Uh, okay, like I don't think I could put that Gronkowski in. Okay, like we have this guy here I can put in. We have uh, this right guard I can put in because I over I bought him by mistake. And those are just two, I believe, right? Nope, we got three. Shoot, I'm trying to see if I get me an elite card, man. Four. I'm one short. I'm one short, dang it. Oh, no, you need seven. Never mind. I'm a, I'm a few short. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we can put those silvers into there. Um, actually, what do I need for those gold cards? Maybe I can open up a pack here. Five silver players, 65 to 69 overall to give me a random gold. I need a high gold. Okay, right here you need low goals to get a high gold. Do I have any of these here that are, are not in my starting lineup? Oh, I got a bunch of these. A bunch of these guys that are, everything is NAT. Like, the only guys that I have, you know, I start. So, sure, let's do that now. See if I get me an, uh, an elite pack. Okay, let's go to newest. You know, these are some of the guys we pulled. Now, none of these guys are in my starting lineup, so I, I don't need any of these guys here. We got our gold player pack. This right here will go into that set to help us get an elite card. Hey, we finished the set today. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Now, at this point, again, these guys don't matter. I don't think I could put Tom Brady in. Tom Brady in, excuse me, that, uh, that baby goat. And we're going to get a free 80 overall elite. And those guys are auctionable tradable. So, if man, I would love to get like one of the more expensive one. I think is like a Tyreek Hill. If I'm not mistaken, like that right there would be great. All right, we definitely don't want to add in any of the baby goats. Hopefully, I didn't put one in by like mistake. So I've been doing those solos every day. Uh, we got Rice, Sanders, Brady, and Dia. Yep, only been four. Okay. All right, so we're going to take these goals that we just got. And uh, these are all of them that we've been getting from the uh, the gauntlet and stuff like that. And uh, the NAT stuff. So now we're going to go on ahead and put them here. And we're going to get ourselves our first elite player pack. So let's go to newest. Let's add the uh, new guys that we just got. And now we're going to add the other guys that are not... In our sets. Okay, those guys right there. Do I need one more? Nope, that's perfect. Seven. All right, here we go, man. Whoever we get, we're going to sell unless I pull somebody that, you know, I, I could use. But uh, nonetheless, man, let's see who it is we get. Let me get somebody expensive or somebody that I can start. And we get 80 overall Anthony Sherman 
fullback right here and uh, doesn't even have as better run blocking than Gronkowski. So, you know, oh my goodness. Out of all the things we could have got, we got a fullback. Like, really? We got a fullback? <laughs> so we're going to go on ahead and uh, be selling him. I'm not sure how much he's going for. But most of the, I have, you know, without opening any packs, most of the gold cards on that account, they're like all NAT. So it's not like you're not going to sold them anyways. All right, we're going to sell him for about 8K, make our coins. And if Bradham sells, man, we're looking at close to 50K that we just got for pulling bar. Oh, my goodness. What an absolute huge pull pulling bar. Hopefully, Bradham can sell at about that 37 because, again, that would be huge for me. And I can upgrade a, a few things. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure what. I'm excited. Like, I want to go back to that... Uh, that auction house to start looking around because 40k could do a lot 40k could definitely do a lot but anyways man that's the end of the video fellas hopefully you guys enjoyed uh if you guys have not done that take your time you can definitely get lucky as you can see here and uh it, it can change a lot if you get lucky i i got 40k in the bank by getting anthony barr who's a very good player and being able to sell brad him and again i may go on ahead and get uh it, in all elite offensive defensive line now i could probably get two or um you know two d tackles for 15k a piece and get like uh, a julius peppers that goes for like 7k or something like that so little by little making moves man it's your boy gs we're gonna go on ahead and be signing out peace